Hi, uh, today I want to talk about something that's been on my mind for a very long time. And that is, there's quite an error in types. And so what I've decided to do is talk about the errors. And I start with the reflector because I tell you, I think this is the saddest and worst crime that we could possibly do. Okay, so we have this type called reflector. And as you maybe probably already know, that is having no definition. All centers are undefined. And the reason I say this is a huge crime, that you would start off with a strategy for these poor folks as watching the moon and then giving 28 days before you make a decision. I have no idea whether Ra did this on purpose to screw up these people or it was just in his narcissism, arrogance, that he thought it was all right to just play around and say, well, you know, Reflector, you are obviously a moon person. So, <clears throat> going back just a tiny bit, it is clear that having no definition the one thing you really want to get right off the top is you are not a mental person, period. And you look at that watching the moon. It isn't anything practical about planets. For example, Pluto could give you a definition for a couple of years, or Neptune, or Uranus. And this is part of what deeply bothers me. It's not to say the moon doesn't have an influence. I did this exercise very early on of watching the moon, about a half a year. And I'm a mental person. I am mentally defined. So I made games. Okay, so today if the moon is in Libra, in hexagram 48, it will, I mean, Libra 48, it will next be in 57. And of course, having, having no definition and then that exercise to just completely watch the moon. Oh my God, that is not the biggest influence, period. But more than that is what, you know, excuse if you can't handle. But for me, this is a mind fuck. And that is to avoid you have no definition, you have no mental definition, then you really don't want to be viewing everything through a mental lens. And I'm sorry, but without a question, this having the strategy of watching the moon, it is ridiculous. And of course, I feel very sorry, not because having no definition is so awful, but it is the amazing misguided nature. And so now what would I say? All the different chart styles, it doesn't matter which, you have to start by looking at what the virtue might be and you look at these charts, no definition, and I'm sure if you're anything like I am, the first hit is, oh my God, now what? And it is important for you to understand that how conditioning works means this person with no definition is 
going to have a lot of practice on how conditioning works. Now, what I tell people when they come to me, you have no definition, etc., is you could be a seer. You could be a clairvoyant. You could be a fair witness. If you can figure out how to not take everything personally. And so this is quite a different starting point than you have to watch the moon and see what happens to your design. Look, I tell you, watching the moon 12 hours it changes, another 12 hours it changes again. It is a, so much work. Then you've got the different lines. Oh my God, we're moving into line two. Now, if you are honest with yourself, you will understand that only very few uh, kinds of planetary activations can you really identify. But I tell you, two hours for one line, probably not. And 12 hours for a, a moon gate, also probably not, unless that one gate is very central to your design. But anyway, <clears throat> I would say that the most important error has to do with being so deeply misguided that you have this totally made up strategy of watching the moon and then taking a moon cycle to make a decision. I would say this is so artificial. You need to acknowledge how artificial it is and how hard it is to identify any given activation that you actually experience it. Therefore, I recommend to people that you absolutely are benefited by studying the planetary program. But please, start with those things that last a longer time. That is my first, I will go on with the others. And so...